is general reading. This may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Let's see. Okay, overall energy, it looks like you're not on the same page with someone, okay? There's a relationship that you gave, on, gave up on in the past and um, probably the situation came back around, okay? But this person just did not, didn't give up their sabotaging ways, okay? They kept on uh, playing mind games with you, a lot of mind fuckery, but this person was someone, you know, who kept pushing your way, you know, they keep sabotaging what they want, all right? And this is someone who always likes to have the last word, okay? But someone who likes to win under any cost, okay? Very serious conflicts with this person, but huge communication issues is also what I'm seeing, okay? But you just finally gave up on this situation. But in the current situation, I feel this person coming back, okay? They want a reconciliation with you. They want to revive this connection. They're giving up their sabotaging ways, okay? They're, uh, they, they're, they're going to be very honest about what they feel because earlier they were probably trying to hide and manipulate the way they felt, but they're wanting to be very honest about their, their feelings and they're being honest about it with themselves, okay? However, in the near future, your yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse, I feel there's a lack of a new start here. Someone's not very confident enough if something's going to be realistic long term or just a lot of self-doubt about whether things will happen or work out, okay? Because there's a lot of hard work that needs to be put into the Ace of Pentacles in order for it to get into that place of the Ten of Pentacles, okay? A lot of hard work is needed. There is an opportunity here, but someone's still not ready to get that opportunity off ground. Um, I feel... With the Knight of Wands and the Two of Swords. All right. Now, like I said, I feel this is the person that you're dealing with. Okay. But take it how it resonates. I feel right now this person's rushing in towards you. Okay. But um, for the Two of Swords, this person needs to make a decision. They're still indecisive. Okay. Their emotions, they're very, feeling very stuck. It's like there's like the stalemate here. I do not seeing eye to eye, but still needing to make a decision. No one's addressing the elephant in the room. Okay. Whilst you with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here, you're very focused on yourself, your career, your goals, okay, your money. You're just choosing to shut off to this person, not giving your energies to this person anymore, all right? That's why they're coming in. Again, I see a very energetic difference here, okay? It could be a, a maturity difference. This is someone who's been in and out, player kind of tendencies, non-committal, okay? And here you are who's always given your everything. You've been nurturing this person, this connection, you know, forever. You want something stable, something secure, whilst this person is someone who's very hard to tie down, okay? They don't like to be tied down to, they run away from commitment. Yes, they are probably in love with you, okay? And they want to restart the connection, but you're just not very sure. You're not feeling it, you know? You're like, nah. I don't know. I mean, we've done this like a million times. And with the right of wands here, that's the kind of energy that they're coming in towards you. And you're like, well, I've seen that before, you know. So let's see. The ace of swords here is the outcome here. There is going to be some kind of breakthrough, okay? Some kind of truth is going to be revealed. Now we're going to see if this is the truth we're going to like or not. But there is communication as the outcome here, okay? Okay, let's see. Why is the... What's the five of wands? What's the five of wands? Yeah, so there has been a breakup, a fallout, okay? There's just no lack of clarity here. Someone wants to come to talk to you, that's for sure, okay? Someone definitely wants to, has taken a break, or there's just lack of healing also is what I'm getting, okay? You're not being able to cope with the stress that comes with this. You're overthinking, overanalyzing the situation or this is just a situation that was driving you nuts. You were reaching that exhaustion and the point of burnout out here, okay? Because I feel the communication is very, very fucked up, okay? The communication is really screwed up between you guys. You don't rest, you don't heal, okay? And it's like the problems keep coming in, okay? You guys don't go on a break because of which now you've landed up in a state where you guys just have to part ways temporarily, Okay. I feel there's no no clarity out here. You're just either focusing on the negative aspect of the relationship or there was just no clarity here. There was no kind of illumination. Light was not shed on what has been covered or what has been... Uh, something's not been coming out in the open, okay? And that's why one of you or both of you have been um, left in the dark or at least you've been left in the dark, okay? And now there's a disconnection here. You're very restless about it. Very restless, okay? There is probably someone here who wants to talk to you, but 
this is again that lack of illumination you know you just don't know what's going on you don't know where this relationship is going you don't know where it's he heading you know there's a lot of unknown energy out here what's the five of swords in reverse yeah this person who you had a breakup with okay so this could be something very long term that you had with this person could be a marriage it doesn't have to be a marriage or a commitment but it was as good as a long term commitment okay but it's just that it didn't reach that point of security stability you uh, i think you've completely isolated yourself from this person okay there is no communication between you guys or you just refuse to talk to this person you want to be left alone you're doing a lot of thinking a lot of soul searching about what exactly went wrong or what's really going on in this connection <coughs> whilst this person is coming towards you okay they're coming towards you with communication i like the way they're communicating with you because they're showing up as the king of souls you know so this person is ready to tell you what they really want what they really really feel about you okay but i think you're very emotionally closed off you don't feel very secure in this connection you're feeling very insecure because things things didn't work out in the past right so for you it's like you just want to be in your space you're enjoying your space but you just want to be left alone once this person is coming in okay after you walked away there's a lot of regret that this person has they feel they should have they could have handled things differently but they're coming in with communication again this is predictable right so if this hasn't happened it will happen okay what's the ace of pentacles in reverse in the near future <sighs> of course right three of swords seven of swords in reverse and the ten of cups here this person's coming in okay they want that happily ever after with you they do they see you as their end all be all all right and um they definitely someone you know this person has a tendency to you know keep coming back towards you okay they hide away from you they run from their feelings they run from commitment okay but they run away they miss you they come back they do the same shit again again the same cycle you know so this is someone who you've been throwing through cycles and cycles okay but they just don't seem to change their ways this person is coming back okay in the near future here but for some issue here with the three of swords here i feel that pain heartbreak heartache okay you probably felt there was a third party situation okay or there was some kind of betrayal that has cost you um it's just very painful okay you're going through that heartache heart pain and you still haven't healed from what th that breakup that happened okay something's hurting badly okay and uh it's hurting your heart it's breaking your heart and you're still going through that emotional distress okay see that's what i'm saying you still haven't healed with the four of swords in reverse here you don't have that healing point out here okay you choose to be left alone but this person comes in before you can even heal before you can think about the situation okay but because of the three of swords here i feel something still not going to get off ground because someone's still not being able to get over what happened in the past okay because there's just a lot of pain here a lot of pain oh sorry not this one tell me about the knight of wands who is this knight of wands what does this knight of wands want star in reverse queen of pentacles in reverse and the temperance here They see you as someone who just doesn't give a shit to them right now. Okay, they do. They see you as someone focused on yourself, doing you, you know, taking care of yourself, more like your money. Okay, you're not nurturing to them at all. Okay, this person could also be someone who's very toxic. Okay, you know, they probably. I think they feel that you're just being very insensitive to them right now. Okay, you're being very ruthless. Okay. and uh probably even very demanding okay but right now there's like this blame game going on when it comes to this person who's coming in towards you however with the star in reverse they have no faith and no hope okay this is a connection that they probably feel is hopeless and you know uh it's going to be go it's it's a connection that's going nowhere they have a very negative mindset when it comes to this but again there's a lack of healing here okay i think this person is rushing in without healing with the temperance here maybe you're something who someone who wants to take things very slow or this is someone who just slow down the process okay they're very slow in making a move towards you okay but with the knight of wands here it's like they want to talk but when it comes to making you that offer they have a thought about it okay it's not a well thought process 
So they come in again, rushing in towards you, okay? Because you're not giving it to them, right? You're not giving them what they want. Okay, whatever you were nurturing, feeding the connection, giving them the love, caring, etc. You've withdrawn from them, right? So we're just forcing them to come towards you, okay? In that very ag- aggressive, reckless energy, okay? They're just hell-bent on coming towards you and wanting to prove a point. However, they feel very hopeless about the situation, okay? But with the temperance here, I feel somewhere, somehow this person has faith in divine timing and they feel things will work out at the right time. But at least for you with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here, because that's also how you see yourself, okay? This person definitely feels... They feel very left out in the cold, okay? This person wants to come back to you. They feel isolated by you. You're giving them the cold shoulder. And that's exactly how they see you, Queen of Pentacles. They see you as someone who just is just very focused on themselves, okay? And they want to come in. They want to heal the connection. They want a reconciliation. But I think there's a missed opportunity in the near future because no matter what, this is something that you want. Okay, but it's this person's tendencies, you know, of ghosting you and trying to be an escapist, which pisses you off. It causes a lot of pain, okay, with the three of swords here. It breaks your heart and you don't want to do the cycle with this person because of which in the near future something will still not get off ground. What's the two of swords? This person is still indecisive, you know. See, that's what I'm saying. They're coming up as a knight here. Okay, they want to heal the situation. But it's, they're too slow, you know. They're not coming up as a king or someone, you know, where it's like, dude, I want to take action. Communication coming in, okay, in the near future here. That could also be with the king of swords here. This could also be you, you know. Because the hermit and the king of swords, both are very logical, very practical people, okay. But I feel this person wants to come in and talk to you, okay. They want to clear the air with you. But with the hermit here, I think you refuse to talk to them. Because you're just choosing to be on your own. Tell me about the two of swords here. ended things with this person okay whoever this is right in their um emotions right now they're being a coward okay emotionally they want to get out of this situation okay they want to get out of their head they want to make things better they want to sleep better okay but they definitely don't have a lot of hope like i see right they don't have a lot of hope because with the strength and reverse here this person is literally like you know what they're not making that big brave bold courageous move towards you okay they don't have the guts right now they're taking the easy way out, okay? But trying to say, oh, I don't know if it can happen. What if she shuts me down? Or what if he shuts me down, okay? What if it just, they just blow me away? Something like that, okay? But with the death here, this person is thinking of a change, okay? They want to make a change. But because you've ended things with them, this is someone who's just losing faith and hope that things will ever work out. I think they're going through a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, okay? But they're living in their head. Only if they would stop the ponder, ponder, ponder and take action, something would work out, Okay? But right now, they're not. They're not taking action towards you. See, page of wands in reverse. This person is obsessing over wanting to communicate with you, okay? But they're choosing not to because they just don't have the confidence in communicating with you right now. That's the problem here. They're just sitting there with the two of swords here doing nothing about it. They're just doing nothing about it. That's why you're nine of wands. They're not rushing in. It, I love them understand something. When I say they're rushing in, it does not have to be like, okay, they're coming to you tomorrow, okay? It is all in their intentions. This is all intentions, okay? But it's a very big difference of whether they choose to take that action to come towards you or not. It is there in their intentions. But see how much hope and faith. They have no hope. They're lacking faith in this connection. They're not even making that bold move to come towards you where they got that shit together. It's like, yeah, I am going to do this, you know, for Leo. They're just scared. They're too afraid. They're very nervous right now, okay? Because you've ended things with the death here. And they want to get out of their head, you know? They want to sleep better. They want to, they want hope. But it's just not happening because it's very difficult for them to gather up that courage to come towards you, okay? And I think you don't really care about this person anymore, okay? This person has a lot of negative self-talk. That's the issue out here, okay? Very self-limiting beliefs, you know, and their negative thoughts are manifesting into reality. This is what I'm getting here. What's the Ace of Swords here? Why is this the outcome? All right, sweetheart. <clears throat> 
depression coming in clarity coming in okay this person wants to work on you okay they want to they want to work on this partnership with you this person wants to collaborate they want teamwork okay they want to redo the connection is what i'm hearing okay they do they want to rebuild this marriage friendship partnership whatever this is they want to get on the same page with you they want to build and start slowly okay that's the clarity that's the communication finally that's coming towards you but i think you're the one who's not going to make a decision because of which this thing will not take off because with ace of wands and reverse here you're just bored of this situation for you it's the situation that's just going nowhere so one person wants this new beginning with you they want to start from scratch they want they want communication and they're wanting to get success and victory with you you on the other hand here baby you're not making a decision okay you need to make a decision you're at a crossroads you're half and half out or probably you're completely out okay but it's just about you telling this person that you know what i'm done because i feel like you're walking away after even after getting this communication because you're fed up you're done with it this is a lack of action the passion is there right but you're not taking action or oh, ace of wands and say i just feel you've lost the enthusiasm the passion the um attraction when it comes to this person because when they come in two of wands you're, you're going to be making a decision okay but i feel you're going to walk away you're not going to entertain this person they're coming in in the near future here that's why because the three of swords this has hurt you so much that you just don't see the point here it's like, I love you so much. I'm ready to work on this, okay? But if you're not going to put in that same effort, emotional effort as much as I do, if you're not on the same page with me, then whether I walk away today or after two to three years, I'd rather work on myself right now and walk away than go through the entire pain, waste my three years, you know, and then just see that the relationship or the connection gets nowhere or it's still not the same place. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.